So today we're going to attempt to make some transfers because it's time to rebuild pretty much the entire back line. Yay. All right, my friends, welcome back in. It's episode seven, first episode on my new rig. So let me know if everything looks okay. If I look all right, I think I have my webcam working at a slightly higher resolution. So that's good. We're in Windows 10 now, so that's good. So hoping that the uh, the sound levels sound good and I don't have to adjust it in post, you know, afterwards. Um, Want to say a shout out to a new patron on the channel. Um... Well, first off, Chris Carpenter, who has been supporting me, I think, almost since the beginning, if not the beginning, since November of last year, uh, upped his pledge. Thank you so much, Chris, for doing that. You're a legend. And then someone by the name of Apartment59 has joined the patronage. So thank you for that. That's amazing. We're up to 26 patrons. We're all, not almost, but we've made significant progress towards our 40 patron goal by the end of the year. Why 40? Because it was double of what we started at 20. So you guys are, I really appreciate the support. So I don't, I feel like every time I load football manager right now, I need to take like an ibuprofen in advance. And that's probably not the best thing, but we're going to attempt to do the transfer window today. That's probably all we're going to do. I've not played ahead any games. We're still in fifth place on 27 points with a game in hand over the New York Red Bulls. We just beat them in the Open Cup fifth round. The next game you're going to see is Miami. Yay. So if for some reason the transfer window goes really fast, we might play Miami today. And you would already know that because it'll be in the title of the video most likely. But I want to talk to you about my plans for the squad. I feel like I can like stretch as we go into this. Okay. So we've got 877 grand in transfer budget and we've got... 14 and a half grand in payroll budget except next year our payroll budget is is going apparently going up nine grand to 140 so sure sounds good um so i i lost my view which is like the most painful thing ever but loki doki does have this as a view you can go into the steam workshop and download it and i think it has everything i had on there so let me know if it looks any any different point you're used to seeing but we've got Okay, if we come down here, Travis Wara on up, contracts are set to expire by the end of the year. So we need to make decisions on whether or not we're keeping them. Fair. Okay, so where does that put us? Hold on a second. I do have a, a notepad pulled up over here. We've got two center backs, Brillant and Au pair. That would that that would be leaving. Plus a center back right back, Jalen Robinson. Then three left slash right backs. Kemp, who's already accepted a I mean, we could try and offer him a contract, but he's he just hasn't done that well, in my opinion. I think this used to be over here. Maybe average rating. Was it here? Or was it? Oh, uh, I got to get it right. It's going to drive me crazy. Wait a minute. Why can't I move that? Nobody knows. Maybe it was like that. Anyway, he's played a 6.58 over 13 starts and 30 subs. So I'm, I mean, really? Yeah. Um, Nick DeLeon, who is really versatile and we may end up keeping, but his determination is three. Ugh. Just not how I want to be building a team. Uh, I mean, we do have Steve Bernabal but I'm fairly certain we're going to, even though he's nine and a half grand a week, we're going to offer him a new deal, I guess. Sure. And o so Neil Fisher. So Kemp, uh, De Leon, Fisher, and then Robinson also covers right back. We would lose Jared Jeffrey, who's a two and a half star center back or, or midfielder, I should say. Narco, who's already unhappy and wanting to leave to get playing time. He's done okay. He doesn't take up an international slot. So I would be tempted. He's got really good determination, but he he's complaining a lot. Like that's not very resolute, you know. Um, but might have a problem with injuries. Like I'm kind of just like, let's just wash our hands, mate. You're not happy with us. We're not happy with you. And then our third string goalkeeper, Travis Wara. 
So what does that leave us? Well, my friends, that leaves us Canals in the midfield, Junior Moreno, who takes up an international slot in the midfield. Ian Harks is a, you know, youngster. He's 23, but he could get more playing time if Jared Jeffrey leaves. Um, I don't know why I started in the midfield. Uh, Luciano Acosta, who's really an attacking midfielder. It'll leave a Steber on the left, or Zoltan, because why would I call him Steber when I call him Zoltan? Ariola on the right, Mullins up top. Steve Ricketts is the 21-year-old that we picked up at the draft. He could provide cover at center back. We got Mark Rivera. Again, just from a, a cost standpoint, he's 300 bucks a week less than Wara. Okay. I mean, he's probably not going to see the field. Um, we've still got – we got that other keeper. Where did he go? Manuel Hernandez. So, we've got keepers. None of them are really good except our starter. So, that might be a bit of a problem. We have Chris Durkin, who is – Really a defensive midfielder, but he could also play center back. Steve Ricketts. And then, Bur so like, if you use Durkin as a center back, which I don't think we would, honestly. I mean, maybe. Rotational option. He's so young, though. Um, and then we wouldn't have a left back. Chris Pelling, I mean, technically is a left back, but he's too, I mean, just let him go, really. It's, we picked him up at the draft. Maybe we could draft somebody else. Who knows? Um, so that would be quite the small squad. Like, that is a lot of players to replace. But I don't think any of it's unjustified. I mean, Assad, it, whatever we got to – I can't – this is what I don't understand. I, I can't transfer. He's too expensive. And I can't make a loan offer. So – because, like, I can't declare interest for a loan. Can I make an offer for a loan? Let's try. This is what this is what this episode is going to look like. So if this is going to bore you, I don't blame you. If you wouldn't mind, hit the like button and move on with your YouTube viewing. That'd be great. But it's figuring out, okay, how are we going to do this within MLS's rules? Can we make a loan offer? You have the right to acquire yourself where you can make an official offer. The MLS rights for this player are owned by another club. You have to acquire these rights before you can make an official offer. Okay, so Atlanta United. Have his rights. What does that mean? Uh <laughs> Okay. So I can give him like targeted allocation money. We don't have 50 grand. And it's not like I don't want to acquire him. I want to loan him. How do I loan him? With 3.26K in general allocation money. If that's used, it's got to be a minimum of 50K. If we use targeted allocation money, it has to be a minimum of 50K. I mean, okay, let's just try suggested terms rather than just outright making an offer. Rejected. How much targeted allocation money do we have? Six hundred and fifty grand. I don't know if I'm I don't think I'm buying the player. I think I'm getting his rights, which means I could then potentially buy the player or loan the player. Let's try a hundred K. So <laughs> either way, okay. We're gonna have lots of problems at the back. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and offer Steve Burner. I mean, he's he's played a six eight six, which is pretty good on our squad, I guess. Oh, contract extension clause. Yes. I don't have to. We can do one year. Done. Done. I don't have to worry about it now. So he's taken care of. But we still have Brillant that would be leaving, Opair that would be leaving, and Robinson, who's kind of a both. So we still have massive problems at the back. So let me show you what we've done from a scouting standpoint, which is not really a lot. So 
I've gone into transfer. This is something I did not know until recently. You see this little wheel here? You can change how, like, it'll, it'll, it starts out with people who are only slightly interested or better. So if that, like, I've signed people that are unsure or doubtful. You just usually have to pay them a little bit more. Like, let's, let's, let's get as many potential players in here as humanly possible, right? Like, that seems like a good idea. So the first thing I did was to go, okay, these are all players. This isn't like only North American players that, because we only have, if all those players leave, we would have three open international slots and two DP spots. Okay. So I could sign three international players, the ones with the eyes next to their names. Now, why don't people from Brazil have an eye or Serbia have an eye? I do not know. I don't know why that is, but I'm going off of the eye. So I, I, I can only sign three of those. So I'm just looking like in general. Okay, let, let, hold on. We got to go figure out we're in MLS, not stages. Sorry. Let's look at the rules. Eight internationals. What's an international? What's an international? I'm just going off of them having an I next to their name. Honestly. No one knows. I'm just going to go off the fact, right? If you look at our squad, brilliant France, I. Assad, Argentina, I. You know, right? Like, Milanovic here has an eye. He's a center back we have in on trial. Um, Canada, no eye. Jamaica, no eye. Why? Because he's also has a nationality of American. So maybe, okay. All right. All right. Maybe we're learning something here. Let's look at Marcelo Estigariba. Okay, so... <clears throat> He doesn't have an eye. Why doesn't he have an eye? He doesn't have any. He's he's not he's not American. He don't he don't he don't have a second nationality. I'm gonna assume if they're not from North America that they take up an eye. What like am I wrong here? I we'll find out maybe this episode. So I have some people that we put on on short list. Let me show you. I've offered out some trials. Yes, a 35 year old Albanian. With no eye, because, well, he looked decent, and he's a center back, right back. And I thought, well, if we can get him out on Toronto, take a look at him, okay? Diego, Diego Martinez, who's Argentinian, he's a left back, looked all right. You know, 67 isn't the best, but looked cheap. Again, bring him in on trial. And then Marcelo, we're just going to call him Marcelo. Determination is a bit of a, bit of a worry. But again, if we could get him on a uh, if we could get him on a senior minimum contract, he could be that he could be the new narco. He could be the guy that's the rotational left right winger. Okay, that's okay. That's where we're at there. So, let's say we want to look only at players that are American. Okay, or because I think you can do this. There's a thing for second nationality. General? Second nationality is American. That's what I'm thinking. We're going to find people. And so uh, nationality is American or second nationality is American. So like someone who's not going to take up an international slot. Okay. So when we do that, we get Marky Delgado. Well, I'm actually a fan of in real life. I think he's a good player. I'd like to see him get a, a chance in the in the uh, U.S. Men's National Team. But he's worth 2.75 or 2.7 million. We can't afford him. We have 877 grand in the transfer budget. Now we could offer draft picks, but like my understanding in MLS and FM18 is that doesn't work all that well. We are already at 14 minutes. Oh my. Okay, so 729. I mean, but we just can't afford him. Okay, Christian Higuita is transfer listed he's worth 575 they've listed him for 775 which is a bit curious but i like the looks of him 
deep line playmaker regista also can play in midfield not as not as well but what this would allow us to do is Knaus right now has been holding down that midfield spot with Durkin rotating in. We could put Christian here in this role. And if you notice, Knaus could bump up to the regular midfield. That seems like a win, right? Essentially, if we swap Jared for Higuita, well, he's already better than him in the midfield, but it allows us to kind of move stuff around. So I like this player. Okay. Now I want to sign him for next season. Can I do that? Because we're in the middle of the season. So can I arrange a transfer for the end of the season or do I have to do it now? And if I do it now, I've got five slots. I don't have any team salary. No, I got two grand in team salary. Uh, let's just make an inquiry and see what happens, okay? Because I like the look of that. He's American. We don't have to worry about international slots, all that kind of stuff. After that, it falls off quite a bit. Like, I'm looking at Nick Romando as our backup backup keeper, right? The third, because his determination is 13 to 15. He has high determination. We could use him to no, we couldn't. We couldn't use him for Manuel Hernandez as his determination is 18. So it doesn't really matter, I guess, now does it? Well, there goes that plan because I was thinking I could bring him in to like let's get that kid some some like one on one time with Nick Romando, but I don't want to jack up his determination. Now Romando may be a fifteen, and maybe it's not a big loss, but I tend not to want to put a youngster with a higher determination with a senior player with less determination. Generally speaking, not the best. From there, the ones that are interested and have some sort of American heritage that are interested in transfers, you can see. Not the best. And so I guess I'm a little early because I'm, I'm thinking this is like the, the big transfer window. But it's the summer transfer window. So, I mean, Higuita's is on 2.9K. What kind of a contract is he on? Does it even tell us? It doesn't because we haven't scattered him all the way. But he's on a senior contract. So could we get him a senior minimum contract? If not, we would have to do more changes inside our squad here. So I'm just, I'm just to be honest with you, a tad worried, right? If we just go clear this, players that are interested at all, like there are options, right? I don't know why this guy's rated so high. Maybe it's because he's 20. But, you know, I'd bring him in on a senior minimum contract, 1.3K. He's a cheap transfer. He's a, he's better than Nick DeLeon and O'Neill Fisher and younger. And he's always interested in a senior contract. But but is he going to take up an international slot? Who knows? It's not. He doesn't say. Now, does it? But this one does. And I'm curious why that is. Because he's... Is it because Vancouver picked him up and then dropped him? So is he tied to Vancouver for some some reason? He is one that I, I had tagged because he looks quite good, right? If we could get him on a decent contract, you know, maybe an option. Um, but it's it's a tad messy, so I'm trying to figure out who we could bring in. Again, maybe I'm just planning too far in advance, and I'm just going like, oh my. Like This is a lot of a lot of unrest in the squad. So I'm going to hop forward now and see what happens with the inquiries we've made and the it, – is it even going to list that? I guess not. Like where we've we've asked to buy the rights to a side. Let's, uh, let me just hop forward a day and see what happens. I'll be right back. Okay. Our mend Dalku has gone to China to make sixteen and a half thousand a week when we could have offered him his expected expected salary measure is two point two K to five point two five K. So he's done a good job by going to China. I mean that's a way to end your career, I guess. So see ya. But Diego Martinez, I can't remember if I showed it to you, is a left back option. Yeah, I think I showed it to him. Has agreed to go on trial. So let's accept that. And then Marcelo has agreed to go on a trial, a four week trial. Because I've I I I think I offered this one off the scouting screen, which it does automatically at one week, which is kind of annoying. Um, and Marcelo, I remember to like right click his name and go like transfer offer trial four weeks. So let's get them in and see what happens now. Okay, Diego is a three to three and a half star, 25 year old. It says he's Argentinian. Player counts towards maximum eight internationals. Okay, 
why isn't there an I next to his name? But he'd be better than Kemp and Fisher, so he would be an upgrade in the future because we can't bring him on right now. Marcelo, I guess we could check the same thing. Same thing, international, although he's quite good. Quite good, you could say. Let's go on the right side. So he, oh, I'd love to get him as like play on either side. But is he going to take a contract that we could afford? I guess I could bring those other guys in right now. We just don't have the cap room. So this is where it gets complicated, right? Like if we could get them an off budget, I believe, contract, then they don't count towards the cap. Is that what the rules say? Question mark, he asks. No one in particular. Senior minimum or homegrown status can be rich as off budget players and therefore have no salary cap impact. But if we offer a senior minimum, I, I think that's a 1.3K. That's as good as we could offer. Right? Uh, reserve. Maybe we could offer a reserve contract. Who knows? Who knows? All right, I'm going to hop ahead a little bit. Okay, here's how you find out where your trades are. Even though I have all selected, it doesn't show the trades. What, what, why, why? So we're trading. We're, we've inquired about trading for Higuita or something. And we've offered 100K. Okay, they've come back. Have they come back to ask for our fourth round pick and 100K allocated? allocation money and we get Assad and <laughs> okay there, hmm. there's target allocation money and general allocation money and I know there's different uses for them and, and teams want different things I don't know why they're wanting our fourth round pick which is like the left back we got that's terrible or the center back or the goalkeeper that we got that are just like one and a half star and a hundred K in targeted allocation money. And they'll give us 51 K in general allocation money and the rights to Assad. I think I want to do that. So essentially it's 50 K and a fourth round pick to get the rights. They offered this. Shouldn't it go to accept? Uh, you want our fourth round pick two years in a row? Sure. That works. I, I guess. Okay. Has Orlando City said anything? No. Oh, this is so confusing. Okay. Now Orlando City wants our first round pick for this guy let's go back is he worth the first round pick so you're saying we would keep the transfer money but you would get our first round pick i still think that's a good deal like our first round pick last year was not that great right so can i accept this offer why can't i accept the offer they came back and said, hey, let's do this, right? Like, why isn't there a – there should be a green check mark next to both of these because both teams came back to me with this. Hey, we want your first-round pick. Fine. I guess. This is going to be right now, and then he's not going to fit in our cap, and we're going to be done. Okay. Well, now what? Why isn't there? They made the sec. They, they, I said I wanted him. They said, give us your first round pick. It should be the next thing should be. Yeah. Sounds good. Right? Okay. Dave Cass. Okay. Well, let me go take care of my contract. And then it looks like, okay. Okay. Okay, Brillant is getting offers. Could we try and sell him slash 
trade him? Because I, I was going to replace him. So if we can get some sort of value out of him, that seems good. Let me go try that too. Okay, our trade with Atlanta United to acquire the rights to Assad can now be completed. The trade will also see DC United receive 51k in general allocation money and part with our fourth round pick in two years and three years and 100k with target allocation money. Yes. Now what does that mean? Anybody know? Ugh. Okay, the trade between us and DC United has been canceled because the total salary of the team must be less than 78 grand. So they were going to accept our first round pick for that player. However, he's 2.9K and we are currently at, right? 78 grand. Why does it say we need to be at? Oh, we're currently at 76. So we need to, we, if we cleared up a thousand in cap space, we could make that trade. Right? So how do we do that? Anybody know? Um, it would be getting rid of a senior player. They'd have to be on a senior contract. This is unbelievable. Narco's unhappy. Let's try and get rid of him. Because we get rid of him, he's 4.8K. I'm just like hemorrhaging players. So let's just see what happens. Um, I, I did the same thing with Brilliant and I, I uh, you know, offered him out to MLS clubs. So let me go see what happens now. Okay. Okay. Follow with me here. We have Assad. And the option to buy him for 699k at the end of the season. Maybe this is we bought these rights. Right? Um, and he's 8,000 a week. If we drop this down to here, that would lower his cap impact by a grand which would put us at 75K, which means we could trade our first pick to Orlando to get that midfielder. And we could use the midfielder now. That seems like a good deal. And then we could buy him at the end of the season when we've got, we, if we don't spend any transfer money, which we wouldn't if we trade for the player. So I'm going to try it. His salary cap impact next year would, would go back to eight grand. We'll deal with that later. We're going to lose like half of our squad. The other thing that's weird is I got this. Atlanta United are keen to receive our fourth round pick and 100K. So like this is the, the an original offer they made. It's coming up after we've accepted the offer that they wanted to make that offer. But we've made a new bid. So maybe I was just supposed to wait, but that is really clunky inside of Football Manager. So let's go see now. Okay, let's go back. Uh, what's the guy's name? He plays for Orlando City. And make a trade. And offer them our first round pick. I, I don't think we're going to get anything out of the draft, personally. I don't know. I could be wrong. I'd rather get a player I know up front. So let's make that offer. And then we're going to do nothing. And just see what happens. And then I'll bring you back. I may have to play the Houston Dynamo game in between. It's saying our total salary must be less than 78 grand. He's 2.9K. Call it 3K. Right? Right? Call it 3K. Have they paid his contract down or something? And I just can't see it. I guess let's just keep scouting. And maybe it's like, maybe he's really 5K a week, but they've paid it down with general allocation money. Maybe. So confusing. Okay. I'm going to, yeah, great. 
Let's let's go figure that out. I mean, at the end of the day, today on this episode, all that we've gotten done. Um, apparently, LIFC was interested in Eden Harks. I don't remember that happening. Is we have what 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 did we get done? I don't even I don't even really know what we got done. Why doesn't it list it here? Does anybody have any idea? Future transfers. All tra oh trades oh trades okay so we've we've acquired the rights to Assad, given away some draft picks and a little bit of allocation money. But we can buy Assad. We have to keep seven hundred grand in the bank because we we want to be able to buy Assad. I think we'll offer him a DP contract to be honest with you, like to so that he doesn't in impact the salary cap. That gives us more wiggle room. We've got we've got the ability to do that, and he looks to be quite good. That. That's what we've gotten done thus far. Is that a successful episode? Are you as confused as I am? I'd love to hear from you in the comments. I feel like we're all experiencing this pain together. I'm going to hop ahead and play this Houston Dynamo game and see what happens. The thing that I'm running into that's frustrating is I'm getting all these scout reports of these players and they've got bids in on them and I can't do diddly squat about it because we're so close to the cap that it's like, you, if you have to wait until everyone else's January transfer window to have your real transfer window, it's kind of, I imagine, more slim pickings at that point. Just a guess. So, But I, I kind of feel like that's where we're at. Um, it yeah, Okay, so I, I'm going to pause and go see how much time we have recorded, and then I, we may just end the episode there. I hope it was instructive. Instructful? Instructive. Yeah, hold on. Okay, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna cut it there because it's at least twenty five minutes. I may have to do some editing to try and to try and trim it down. But success, we got the trade rights or the the player rights to Assad, and now we have the option of actually buying him at the end of the season. Hit the like button if you understand any of this better than I do. Feel free to leave a comment, and uh, we'll see you next time. I, eh, next time we're going to play Miami if I can get that far ahead. Have a good one. Bye. Confusion. Mm.